In this video, I'm going to show how to use the create rectangle array um, layout tool. And notice there's this is a tool group. If I click and hold, there is the rectangular array and the circular array, and they're both currently gray, which means we can't even turn the tool on because there's nothing selected. This is about creating a layout from something. If I simply just create a little ellipse shape like this and let go, and I have this shape selected, I could now choose to create a rectangular array. Think of it like a layout and see what it's given me. It's given me, well, in the tool options, it shows two horizontal copies by two vertical copies and I could mathematically adjust their spacing. Now, if I want, I can also adjust it visually. So notice that there's handles. And if this the original object is the first handle. And with that one there, I can adjust the location. If I move to the sort of last one away from it, I could adjust the spacing, both sort of the horizontal spacing and the vertical spacing. So you can decide how far apart you wanna make these. With the final handle, I could rotate the whole group and set it on any angle that I wanted to. And if I was happy with the array, I would say apply. And it would create a layout based upon that shape. Now I'm gonna hit undo here. So I'm back to my original shape. I'm gonna hit the create array option again and show that here I, I have the opportunity to create sort of more than just two by two. I could make it three by two, so now I have three horizontal by two vertical. And if you wanted to fill out a whole sheet of you know, fabric with a special shape, you could make as many copies as you want. And that's what these are about, so the copies. Now, when I want to, um, see now I have multiples of them. I'm gonna just scroll in and show, if I click on any one of them, I can select that handle, I guess, if you will. And right beside it is a little arrow. And if I click on that, it'll rotate them. And it actually rotates kind of the every other one. See that? So if I click on this one, it will rotate those ones. If I click on this one, it'll rotate just these two. So if I had more rows, so let's just increase this to let's say four by four. So now you'll see what I mean. It gives, if I click on this one, it rotates that one and this one. If I click on this one, this one and that one, and this one. So they're kind of alternating. And so the point is you can adjust their layout. Now all of this maybe doesn't make complete sense with just um, a little oval shape like this. So let's just clear, I'm just gonna select all of those and delete them. And let's try using um, our clip art library. There's lots of clip art that makes good sort of corner layouts. And so if I go scrolling through here and look for something that kind of, you know, looks like it was designed to be, let's maybe say a corner. So some of these shapes like this look like corners to me. Let's see. Lots of diamonds. Here, these are, this looks like a corner shape right here. Corner number five. Let's just select that and say insert. And I can click and drag to basically place that corner, you know, somewhere on my embroidery screen. And now um, we could choose what style. So right now, what is it set as no outline and paint fill? Well, all right, let's give it an embroidery outline. So let's click on uh, maybe this dark sort of brown or black color. And so now it's got an outline and then the, the, the paint fill is fine or we could choose to do an applique fill or whatever you wanted to do with it. So let's give it an applique fill. So here we have a shape that's got, you know, an outline and a fill. Now choose the create rectangle array option and you'll see that it's giving me the same four by four. Now in this case, I was thinking of just doing kind of a corner layout. So I'm going to make it be two by two. And then I can adjust how you know how close those corners are with these handles right here. Now I want to obviously change the orientation of each corner, and so I'll select this one and click on it once to rotate it. And then I'll choose this one and rotate once twice. And then this one I'll probably have to rotate three times to get them, you know, and then I'll say apply that array. So when you say apply that completes the session and you know creates the layout that you've designed. So you can see here how that 
tool when used with a corner design makes a lot of sense. You can easily create a layout for your embroidery hoop with a single design in a corner.